Hits. Secret Santa 2016. Mix 107.5 and you. Making a difference. All right. So here we go. 715 with Mix 107.5 and KT in for, uh, for Duffy. Yeah. Uh, on this uh, on this tough tough week that we're uh, we're dealing with um, uh, loss here, um, but we still wanted to we need to get these out there for y'all. Yeah, um, yeah. You need to you need to hear where your money went. We, right. We need to push along, and, and that's what Steve would want us to do. You know, honestly, I think, and this is as weird as the sound would be, joking at this point. You know what I mean? I heard Duffy talking about that on Monday. He really would be making jokes right now, Steve, and it's mm-hmm. just that, that's the kind of personality he is, and that's why he would want us Very to... Very inappropriate humor, yes. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, I don't know about that one, uh, but yeah, no, so that, that's why we're doing this. Um, we've got to plug along and um, uh, want to thank the helpers for this one. Uh, Laura Massey, uh, who's the head nurse, uh, Tammy Fellows, guidance counselor for Portales High School. This is all out of Portales uh, today, Mindy Asena. Matt Alvarado, and I hope I'm getting these names right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Brenda Alvarado, um, uh, is it Arturo? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ontiveros. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to try to tag on that one. <laughs> Logan Jones and Laura Marquez. Um, all, Marquez. Mar- thank you, Marquez. All helping out. And of course, the, the listeners, uh, big big helpers on that one too. So yeah. uh, so let, let me just, um, I'll read the letter first that we got from the nominator and then kind of tell you, you know, this was an interesting one. This was something, you know, we had spoke about it right after the delivery that this this had never happened in all the years of Secret Santa. Um, but it, tur- it turned out well. But so let me let me read the letter. This was the uh, Burgos Ramirez family. And this was a letter that we received from the nominator. It's kind of lengthy. So uh, stay with me here. OK, tell us about this family is the question. They said Eddie, Eddie Burgos is a 15 year old freshman at Portales High School. He lives with his mother, father, two sisters. They're 14 and 12. Eddie loves soccer and spending time with his family and friends. He's always happy, loving, and caring. And you always see Eddie with a big smile on his face. On February of 2016, Eddie's mother took him to the doctor because he was having terrible migraine-like symptoms. She had tried everything to ease the pain, but nothing would help. His pediatrician ordered an MRI uh, that morning. The images indicated a mass in Eddie's brain. He was transported to Lubbock that evening. A biopsy was performed the following morning, and Eddie was diagnosed with germinoma, a type of germ cell malignant tumor. Eddie had surgery later that month and underwent underwent chemotherapy treatments. Eddie is scheduled to have surgery again in a couple of months to see if the rest of the tumor can be removed, since radiation would be more harmful to that sensitive area. Erica, like any loving mother, has not left Eddie's side She's not left her son's side since day one. They have been making quite a few trips to Lubbock so that Eddie can go to follow to his follow-up appointments. And often the family has to stay for days at a time so that Eddie can get the treatments that he needs. After all that Eddie has been through, he never ceases to amaze us. His attitude remains positive and he continues to smile in spite of all that he has endured. We could all learn a lot from Eddie as well as his family. Their strong faith and their will to overcome this disease is tremendous. They refuse to give up. Eddie, you're a fighter. Keep smiling. And Portalis loves you. Um, I will say, he he was very funny. We got to talk to him on the phone. So so what happened on this was we had you know scheduled the delivery for the following week, and it suddenly kind of came up that he was he was in Lubbock, and they were going to have to air back him for surgery a lot sooner than they had anticipated because of symptoms and things going on. And so we decided, um, because at this point, the elves hadn't done any shopping yet. Hmm. Um, This was like, you know, a couple days before they had planned on going and doing shopping. And, and, you know, we talked about it and we're like, well, this family at this moment, he was going to be air-vacked to Dallas. And so we're like, well, we think right now what they could use probably more than anything is money Mm -hmm. because he has two sisters dad and then logan who's his best friend who um has been with them through all of it and has uh, raised money for them and 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 everything um he you know they're all going to be needing to get to dallas um staying there and these aren't these aren't procedures where you know three days later you're out of the hospital and so uh so just Duffy and I, we didn't have all of our normal elves. Carrie wasn't with us. We didn't take photos of everything. We took a photo at the end of like the whole group. Um, we decided to just surprise them that night because the, the, he was going to Dallas that night. Um, so we met up at the station and Duffy and I actually got to talk 
to Eddie and his mother on the phone before he got on the medevac chopper. And I believe that that, that will be in the playback. And then um, when we went to his house, they put him on FaceTime. And I think he was maybe in the air. But he was joking and giving his sisters a hard time. <laughs> and like the, like when they're saying he's very positive, I mean, you, you never would have known. You never would have known that he was ill or, or trying to get through this or um, suffering cool at that. all. Atta boy, atta boy. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Cool. And so, um, so that was why this one was so different. But it went great. And uh, we want to thank Kyle Berkshire and his family. They donated the airfare to get the dad and the siblings and Logan to Dallas so that they could be there immediately the next morning and not have to drive and they could see him before he had to go into surgery and everything. And then Olive and June donated a gift card for the daughters. And then um, some other people, s and Supermarket, they donated the food. Rib Crib donated a turkey. Carpet Tech donated the tree. And um, Harrison Family Builders donated the decorations for the tree. And, um, yeah, so... So let's hear it. Let's, yeah. let's, let's do our first playback for 2016 in Secret Santa. Hold up here. It's Secret Santa 2016, Makes Morning's Duffy Moon with uh, Amber Kay. And Amber, this is a different one for us. This is actually the first time in 15 years that we're making a delivery ahead of really everything. We haven't done any shopping. We haven't done any wrapping. But it became apparent today that we needed to make this delivery, and we needed to make it tonight. And I'm a little nervous. I don't know about you. Um, Yeah, because it is different. But the whole point of this is to give the family what they need. And this family needed something different than the families we've helped in the past. And so tonight, what's going to happen and what you're going to hear uh, here in a moment on the radio is us showing up to a house where uh, the young man who is sick, uh, ninth grade, is not actually there. In fact, mom's not there either. You're going to hear potentially from dad, maybe from sisters, uh, maybe from best friend uh, Logan, who's really been helping through all of this. And then we're going to cut them loose. They're actually flying out. You just heard as we were retelling the story, they're flying out in the morning to join the rest of the family in Dallas. We do have a host of people here with us tonight. We don't have our normal helper elves because we're doing all of this ahead of time, but we do have a host of people that care about this family that we've been dealing with uh, all day long. And you are... Mindy Senna. How do you know the family? Um, I'm his guidance counselor and have been working with them through this school year since he entered the high school. Whatever you're comfortable with, and, and again, there are certain things that we don't necessarily have to put on the radio, but just it kind of what's going on with the family in, in, in your words. We recently found out that he is um, is in critical condition. He is going to be um, air to Dallas in hopes that maybe they can surgically remove the tumor that um, they tried to remove once before. Um, and instead of it decreasing like we were hoping, it's increased by 40%. So tonight, what we're doing, hopefully, is providing a little bit of relief for the family, basically financially. Yes. We're going to hop in the uh, vehicle, and we're going to head that way. Before we do, there was a post up on Facebook. We're going to try and get through this. Uh, Mom, Erica, who is with uh, Eddie now in Lubbock as they get set, literally in moments, to be air into Dallas. She put a post up on Facebook, and we're going to do our best to get through this. Uh, this is, if you're a parent, boy, does this put it into perspective for you. She posted up for her friends and her support group, and this is verbatim. She said, can someone please explain to me how to make my body and my mind relax? I was told yesterday that I needed to try and relax or calm down for the sake of Eddie, that he feeds off my emotions. I'm really trying for him not to see how I really feel. I'm always trying to make jokes about everything and laugh about things around him, but I guess you can't disguise the pain that a mother feels when you're at the edge of maybe losing one of the biggest loves of your life, that one special child that just makes you see a blue sky on a cloudy day. My Eddie is so special, I just can't describe him in words. He's my sunshine, my shooting star, my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. She goes on to apologize for the length of her post, and she says, But I felt that my chest was about to explode. I haven't been able to sleep since two weeks before coming to the hospital. My gut feeling kept telling me that something was wrong, and it was right. And please don't stop praying for my baby. And what parent can't relate to that? That's what this family's going through right now. That's what mom and dad are dealing with while trying to hold things together for the sisters that are still there in the house. So we're going to hop in the car and we're going to make a delivery unlike any delivery we've made before. It's not going to be as loud as our deliveries normally are. It's not going to be as festive necessarily, but it is certainly going to help. And that's because of you. And possibly mom might be on the phone. 
Hi, Erica. Can you hear us okay? Yes, I can hear you. Well, first of all, Merry Christmas to you. It's uh, Duffy Moon and Amber Kay from the Mixed Morning Show on Mix 107.5 back here in Clovis and Portales. And we understand that uh, it's been a crazy few few days for you. Are you holding up okay? I'm holding up, yeah. I'm going to kind of break down here in a minute. <laughs> We're not going to keep you real long because we understand that you guys are about to head out to Dallas. And uh, we just wanted to let you know that everybody back here is thinking of you. And if it's okay, we're going to make sure that Christmas and everything is taken care of for you, okay? Thank you. We're going to go head over to your house and surprise your husband. Hopefully we don't scare him. Oh, he'll be scared. (laughs) (laughs) Please tell Eddie that that we're thinking about him, and he's in all of our prayers, and we wish you guys the absolutely best over the next few days, okay? He's listening. I have you on speaker. Hey, Eddie, we're uh, we're thinking about you, buddy. Thank you. And uh, we want you to to have a good couple of days, and uh, don't worry about things back here. We're going to make sure that your sisters are taken care of and that the rest of your family is taken care of, okay? Okay. Yes. Don't worry about my sister. Just worry about my dog. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> the important things. Uh, well, you know, everybody told us that you're a great young man. And you have a great sense of humor, and you've certainly proved it. How are you feeling right now, Eddie? I feel good. Nervous. I understand a little nervous. Well, listen, like I said, everybody's uh, pulling for you back here. We've got you, got you in our prayers, and we wish you the best, okay? Okay. All right. You guys have a safe flight, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you. So we are en route to the house to visit with Dad and the sisters and those who are not uh, on their way to Dallas yet. As you heard, they will be in the morning. And we're actually here. We just pulled up. So we're going to follow everybody else again. A little bit different vibe to this particular Secret Santa than what we normally have. And we're going to go inside now and see if we can make a memory for this family. Once again, at Secret Santa 2016, all of this courtesy of you, because of your donations, because of you nominating, because of you getting involved, we're able to do things like this for families that need it, just like this one. Amber, you were right. You found it. Yeah, they were. They beat us here. It was easy to find. I think we're making our way in now. We're kind of following everybody else. Who's going to lead the charge here as we make our way in? All right. Hi there. Merry Christmas. How you doing? Merry Christmas. Hi. How are you? Hi. 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 Can we come in your house? We can come on in. All right. What's your name, young man? Logan. And you doing okay? Yeah. How are you? I'm doing well. And how are you doing? I'm uh, I'm Duffy Moon. And this is uh, Amber Kay from Mix 107.5 Radio. And uh, is it okay that we came in your house? Yes. We won't be here real long. Um, We actually just got off the phone with your wife, and we uh, just had a chance to visit with Eddie a little bit. And we understand that they're on their way to Dallas. And um, uh, I I think you found out earlier today, I think you guys are are heading off to Dallas in the morning, correct? Yes. Dad, I'm not going to put you on the spot too much here, um, but we understand that uh, there's some things going on with your family, and uh, we do a program on our radio station every year that we call Secret Santa, where we come together to help out families that are going through things, kind of like your family's going through this year. And so we would like to, on behalf of our listeners, make sure that Christmas is taken care of for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it okay if we talk to your daughter? Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Hi. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Where's the other one hiding back here? Oh, there she is. Come on down here. Is it okay if we say hi to you? What grade are you in, young lady? I'm in seventh grade. All right, and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Uh, is this, who's, this, who's this dog down here? It's Hercules. Oh, yeah, is it Hercules? I want to say that I had a chance to talk to your brother just a short while ago on the phone, and uh, I told him that we were going to come by and see you, and we are going to drop off some stuff for Christmas, and said we were going to take care of his sisters for him, and he said, eh, don't worry about them, just worry about the dog. I, I figured, I figured he would say that. <laughs> There's your brother. Hi, Eddie. How you doing, partner? Hello. We're making a big old commotion in your house, okay? Okay. I can see that. Your, your dog is doing well. All right, good. <laughs> right over here as everything continues to happen here at this home and uh, uh, making hopefully a, a memory for this family and a time when they need it. And young man, uh, Logan, we understand that you're pretty good friends with Eddie. Oh, yeah. He's like a brother to me. Tell us about Eddie. He's crazy. He's funny. Even though all the stuff that he's going through, he's still, he's still an awesome kid. He's always happy and always making jokes and just has the best point of view about everything. I firmly believe that people who have a good personality tend to find other people who have a good personality. And we've heard a lot of really good things about you and the things that you've done for Eddie. So thank you for being such a good friend. Oh, yeah. Are you heading out to Dallas tomorrow? Yeah, we're going to leave at 530 in the morning. Hey, give him a high five when you get there. Okay, I will. <laughs> Dad, sorry to barge in like this. We know that you guys have a lot going on right now, and you're getting set to head out of town, so we're not going to stay much longer. If it's okay, we just want to turn something over to you. It's on behalf of the listeners of Mix 107.5 to make sure that everything is covered for you guys. And so we have for you $2,000 in cash. Okay. 
We want you guys to have a great Christmas. Getting a hug from his daughter now, and hopefully mom can see that on... Okay, good. We are blessed. I mean, thank you so much. You're very welcome. I don't know if you heard mom, but on behalf of the listeners of Mix 107.5, just to help you guys out with everything going on, we're just dropping off $2,000 in cash, okay? Thank you. So much. You're welcome. We want you to have a Merry Christmas, and we understand circumstances are tough, but we want you guys to have a, a Merry Christmas, okay? Thank you very much. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? And instead of it decreasing like we were hoping, it's increased by 40%. Where is the laughter you used to bring me? Why can't I hear me? How are you feeling right now, Eddie? I feel good. I'm nervous. My world is changing. I'm rearranging. Does that mean Christmas changes too? My Eddie is so special. I just can't describe him in words. He's my sunshine, my shooting star, my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Where are you, Christmas? Do you remember the one you used to know? I'm not the same one. See what the time's done. about things back here. We're going to make sure that your sisters are taken care of and that your the rest of your family is taken care of, okay? Yes. Don't worry about my sisters. Worry about my dog. Uh, I figured. I figured he would say that. If there is love in your heart and your mind You will feel like Christmas all the time Oh I feel is taken care of for you, okay? Thank you. We just want to turn something over to you. It's on behalf of the listeners of Mix 107.5. We have for you $2,000 in cash. Okay. Where are you, Christmas? Thank you so much. Fill your heart with love. We want you guys to have a great Christmas. 